So, you just sold your home and now the buyer is coming with a third party inspection. I have several ways you can prepare for a third party inspection. You don't want too many items on your inspection report. It could scare the buyer away. The first way to prepare is to make space. You're gonna have an inspector coming through your home. You need to make space for him to see where the electrical panels are. Don't have it all with big boxes from Costco in front of it. Uh, same with the garage. Make space so they can check everything in the garage. Make room for the inspector to inspect what he needs to inspect, in, an, in other words, okay? Make sure you're there at the very beginning to explain how the systems work. I get so many inspections where the inspector will say the waterfall doesn't work, the fountain doesn't work, the this doesn't work, and it's because they were just, the way to turn them on was never explained and inspectors don't know how to turn everything on. So make sure you explain all the systems so that they can inspect them properly. Another thing you need to do is make sure you replace all your bulbs that are burnt out. There, you always get dings on your inspection report if you have a light bulb out. And it won't say the light bulb's out, it'll say faulty fixture or something like that, and it could just be you need a bulb. So make sure you go through your home, change out all the burnt out light bulbs and have that part off your inspection list. Now, another thing that you can do is when you have grout or caulking in your bathrooms or kitchens or whatever that are chipping away or not fully uh, sealed, make sure that you go through and caulk anything that needs caulking and grout anything that needs grouting because it will show up on an inspection report and you just again want as few items as you can have on that inspection report so your inspection report looks clean. Also make sure you have your HVAC units uh, tuned up. Make sure you have them checked and make sure they're all running properly because every HVAC is checked. They check the heater, they measure the amount of heat, they check the AC, they measure the temperature, it comes out. So when you're having a third party inspection, you wanna make sure important uh, aspects to the home are functioning properly. And HVAC is very important. Well, if you haven't cleaned your windows yet, it would be a good time to do them. However, we always have our windows cleaned prior to putting a house on the market because you want people to buy it and you want your views and vistas to be fabulous. Also, make sure you check all your locks and all your sprinklers. So have your gardener go through and check your sprinkler system. You, obviously, you don't check the sprinklers in your house, the fire sprinklers, because that would wreak havoc on your home. And you'd probably lose your sale. So check your sprinklers, have your uh, gardener go through each station and make sure everything is running properly. Also with the sprinklers, make sure you turn your, the sprayers away from the house. We, I see that all the time on inspections. Oh, the, the sprinkler head is facing the house and it's gonna cause mold in the house and dry rot and this, that, and the other thing. So just make sure your sprinklers are all heading away from the house and they don't touch the house. That's an important one. I see that almost every inspection. So I think those will help you and we went through them pretty quickly.